Hello and welcome. Today, in this video, what we're going to be discussing are the first type of problems you'll see in this unit. The video today corresponds with the problems of complete dominance. We'll be discussing what it is and how to do some practice problems. So without further ado, I'll see you all in the next slide. So what complete dominance is, is when one allele shows full dominance over the other. So there is a clear dominant and recessive trait with the dominant masking the recessive. A dominant trait is always demarked with a capital letter in the genotype, whereas the recessive is always marked by a lower case. So the three different genotypes and phenotypes we could have, specifically the genotypes in this case, are homozygous dominant, represented by two uppercase letters, heterozygous, the hybrid, in this case would be one capital, one lower case, now, just a reminder, a hybrid big A little a will always show whatever the dominant trait is. The dominant masks the recessive. And finally, we have the homozygous recessive, or two lowercase letters. So some examples of complete dominance. Here, you either have one variation or the other. In this case, you either have attached earlobes or detached earlobes. Here are some other examples, such as being able to go ahead and coil your tongue. A widow's peak, double folded or single folded eyelids, dimples, the normal amount of hair, or maybe you're a little bit less hair up top. Darker hair colors are normally dominant over light hair, hair colors. Also, what we're gonna be dealing with today in the next sample problem is the hitchhiker's thumb. So either the dominant trait is when the thumb is held straight up, it's just straight up right, or the recessive is when you hold your thumb straight up, it's actually crooked. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our first example problem. In humans, a regular hitchhiker, a regular thumb is denoted by this photo here. Whereas a hitchhiker's thumb, the recessive variant can be found here. As you can see, the hitchhiker's thumb has a clear bend in the back. So the regular thumb can be found as either capital H, capital H, or capital H lowercase, because the regular thumb is dominant, so we gave it the capital letter, and the hitchhiker's thumb is recessive, so we gave it the lower, uh, lower case. The only way you can have a hitchhiker's thumb is if you have the homozygous recessive condition, lowercase h, lowercase h. So what I'd like you to do here is go ahead and pause the video. I would like you to answer the next two questions on your own. Problem one, what would be the genotype and phenotype percents if a heterozygous regular thumb was crossed with a hitchhiker's thumb? The next question is two parents both have regular thumbs, but their child has a hitchhiker's thumb. How is this possible? So go ahead, pause the video here, and I'll see you on the next slide with how to answer the problems. So pause the video and press play again when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and see how we did. So in the first problem, we were crossing a heterozygous hitchhiker's thumb with a recess, sorry, a heterozygous normal thumb with a hitchhiker's thumb. So if we go ahead and combine our alleles here, in the first box, we would have capital H, lowercase h. In the second box, lowercase h, lowercase h. In the third, capital H, lowercase h. And in the fourth, lowercase h, lowercase h. So our genotype, remember genotype is the letter combination, will be 50% heterozygous, or capital H, lowercase h, and 50% homozygous recessive, or lowercase, lowercase. The phenotype would be 50% regular thumb and 50% hitchhiker's thumb. Because remember, hitchhiker's thumb can only be found if you have both lowercase letters. Problem number two. So we had a two parents that had regular thumbs, but the child had a hitchhiker's thumb. Now remember, if they're homozygous, they still go ahead and have regular thumbs, but they also have that lowercase recessive letter present. So let's see what happens. So our first combination would be capital H, capital H. Our second, capital H, lowercase. Third, capital lowercase. And fourth, lowercase, lowercase. If you take a look, there is our child, the one that had the uh, hitchhiker's thumb. 
So our genotypes would be 25% homozygous dominant, capital, capital, 50% uh, heterozygous, capital H, lowercase, and 25% homozygous recessive, or little h, little h. So our phenotypes would be 75% individual, 75% uh, chance of having a regular thumb, and a 25% chance of having a hitchhiker's thumb. So yes, this is possible providing the individual was heterozygous. Uh, sorry, both parents were heterozygous. Now, one last thing we have to talk about here is something called a test cross. So if you're sure that the individual has the dominant trait, but you want to know if it's a purebred, you can perform something called a test cross. In a test cross, it shows the dominant phenotype, and you go ahead and cross that individual with a recessive, uh, recessive individual. So if the offspring were 100% dominant, the individual was a purebred. Whereas the, if the uh, offspring are not 100% dominant, then the original must have been a heterozygous. Because remember, heterozygous, you'll see that recessive trait present, at least in the genotype. So predicting a test cross, here we go on the left. This shows what happens if you have a dominant purebred, where on the right, that shows what happens if you have a heterozygous or hybrid. So here, we're going to go ahead and close the video for today. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions on this, please go ahead and make sure to talk to your uh, professor, instructor, teacher, whatever you'd like to call them. And until the next time we meet, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.